Hi, this is KSP with Tape, and today you join me in low court Kerbin orbit with my, uh, with my real life virtual starship, because it's not real life, it's on a computer program. But I call it a starship because it looks kind of like a proper sci fi spaceship, in that, you know, it's kind of, uh, it's not like Apollo, which the anniversary of that was a while ago, uh, getting away from the point. It looks roughly like something you would see in a bad sci-fi movie in that it looks like a ship um, and I've used all these structural panels to kind of make it look spaceship like anyway the kind of reason I did this was Macy Dean as I'm sure some of you will be aware um, has recently requested all his kind of viewers make and submit ships for his channel which he kind of does the starship thing and stages space battles if you haven't seen it um, and this, this is a refueler, and he probably wanted something more functional and less trying to be aesthetic. But um, that was boring, and I never do this kind of thing, so I went all out, armored it up with these. And I say armor because it'll probably have some kind of torpedoes fired at it at some point. Anyway, it's a refueler in that it can be launched with its launch vehicle, which you'll see later, from low carbon orbit all the way up to, uh, no, no, it can be launched with its launch vehicle from the surface of Kerbin, obviously, um, and then go all the way out to Lathe or Joule, and still have about, without a refuel, and still have about 1400 litres of fuel left. And if you do refuel it in low Kerbin orbit, you can get out there with about 2000 litres, which is pretty impressive, I think. I mean, it would do better without all this random stuff on the side, but, uh, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, but I, I got it kind of in low curb orbit, it has 8400 delta V because of my use of solely nuclear engines. And, um, as you can see, I've only used four, madly underpowered it, and it is quite underpowered and takes ages to do burns, but it's the only way I get it truly efficient. And, um, you may notice a lot of my uh, kind of commentary doesn't quite fit in with what's happening on screen because I did do it live commentary but don't worry um, wait not what yeah don't worry my software did in fact fail me don't worry it happens every video there will never be a change it will always fail me and I'll try and get around it I do like doing kind of live commentary but uh, but my computer is a uh, douche and oh you can see the sun kind of setting but no don't worry I put a I put headlights on it, I it come to illuminate the ship. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and it's got solar panels and an emergency RTGs and a little nose cone. And below that nose cone, you can probably see there's a... Uh, no, I'm trying to indicate, but this is um, post-commentary. Uh, there's a, 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 a senior docking port, which if you right-click, you can get kind of control from here to make it... Um, control from a logical place whilst flight rather than the up top cabin. I use the nice glassy cabin because that's I like that. And the sun has just set. Or the Kerbal has just set. And you can see I've got a whole bunch of docking ports. I've got these, uh, um, I've got some junior docking ports and some senior docking ports and some standard docking ports kind of shielded. You can see they're opening there. And there go my solar panels. Uh, those are controlled with Action Group 1. Um, and the bottom ones are controlled, and the bottom kind of shielded docking ports are controlled with Action Group 2, which you will see in a second. Um, and I did that because I wanted the idea that you'd fly up to it, the, the idea that obviously you can't actually do it, but you'd fly up to it, and you'd see them opening like, like so, like so. Okay, I don't know what it's like. There, like so. Um, and then you'd be like, oh, that's awesome, and then dock, and it'd look all spaceshipping. Anyway, uh... So, uh, yeah, so those are the, so obviously it needs docking ports to refuel, and annoyingly I can't really use it as an effective refueler because if you've seen some of my past videos, you may know that I have refueling issues um, be because my alt function doesn't work in uh, a game. Anyway, I'll just show you the inside of the ship. You can just kind of see I've got this whole bunch of fuel tanks. I'm just kind of smashing through it. Um, these huge fuel tanks, and then you go into my little kind of actual drive system, which is an intricate kind of crazy thing, which I like with a whole bunch of RCS. I like intricate systems, and that's what I tried to kind of do. Uh, and you can see it weighs like 73 tons. So, but it's, yeah, it can get out dual. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. Anyway, you're thinking, Tape, why are you 
um, why are you showing me this big ugly spaceship which is kind of maybe pretty if you like that oh and you can see the whole control from here thing anyway I am showing it you um, because I intend to do a series with it when point two one comes out uh, because I've been at a bit of a loose end recently waiting for two one to come out not making videos because it hasn't come out and kind of been a little little bored and stuff but anyway so I thought I'd show you this kind of show you the ship and I will be doing a um, a series with it hopefully after I've kind of done a 2-1 video and done a Duna landing and done some other maybe and then hopefully after that I'll take this all around the solar system kind of uh, a grand tour maybe of Ju the Julian system and then maybe refill it a bit fly it around kind of like a proper spaceship thing maybe I'll call it Deep Space Nine and then get sued by Star Trek I doubt they sue tiny channels but anyway because, yeah, it's not as pretty as the SS Enterprise. But anyway, that was featured in Deep Space Nine. I'm not sure. Not uh, not the point. And you're probably thinking, well, you didn't get that into space legitimately. Well, I did. I uh, well, You'll see in a minute. I built a big launch vehicle, and it took me ages. And if I'd made my epic fails video now, there'd be a lot more crashes of awesome scale. So, yeah, it smashed up a lot, and I ruined a lot of things, and there was a lot of imbalance issues. But I did get it into space legitimately, which, yeah, yeah, you'll see in like a few minutes. Uh, no, in a few, like a few seconds. Don't worry, I won't make you wait that long. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, because I kind of got, it was, uh, how, what, what did I use? I used like six huge fuel tanks with Rockamax engines, and yeah, you'll see it. Uh, because I kind of wanted to get it into space with as much fuel as possible without having to refuel, because makes it easier. And when I do it, I'll probably put quantum fuel transfer node so I can transfer fuel and kind of fix all that. Anyway, to the launch. On the launch pad, you can see, nicely in the day, illuminated. I'm controlling from here, from the docking port. This is all at four times. I switch to the nice kind of view, and you can see the massive launch vehicle, or you could. Uh, yeah. And I've got SAS controls, and it's going very fast. It is a very fast launch vo vehicle, even at normal speed. I'm not entirely sure the actual speed of this, because it um, because my screen record is a little tenuous, but anyway, I'll move it, I'd start my gravity turn, use RCS to keep it under control, because that is of much importance, or it will flip out and kill everyone on board, which happens to be one lobby coming, and I've dropped those stages, just have this, and I kind of like how it looks right now, with the kind of, on the side, I'm not sure why, and I'm doing my full gravity turn, up to 18,000, I don't have MetJev on this, so I can't be telling, because when you submit something to Macy Dean, there are no mods. So I yeah sent him lots of stuff. Of, hopefully he'll see it in Macy Dean series and pra possibly not because obviously I don't know if he's going to use it. But hopefully. Um, anyway, I'm flying out, getting my apoapsis uh, up and trying to get as much orbital velocity as possible. Oh no, no, I didn't do that. Now that was stupid. I kind of made the mistake of getting more altitude. And I pause it now for some reason. Anyway, uh, kind of getting as much altitude, kind of getting altitude before I get orbital velocity, which is stupid, especially with this ship. And I'm, you can see I'm trying to keep this behemoth under control. And I think when I actually fly it, I'll edit it a bit, make it more controllable, maybe more powerful, more fuel, and maybe more people space. Anyway, I'm firing at the rock maxes to do most of my orbital kind of circularization, and trying to push it as far away so I have much time with the nuclear engines and ditching them, burning out cinematically, kind of being a no quite a lot in map view. But you've seen the ship; it's fine and I'm pulling up way too much because I didn't gain enough orbital uh, velocity in my gravity turn, which was stupid. If you want to know how to do that, kind of watch Scott Manley's video. I'll probably do a video about doing it perfectly in a bit, but for now, you know, watch Scott Manley's video. Anyway, I'm kind of really pushing it up. I've got it to uh, kind of stable so it's not going over Apple apps. And it'll start coming down in a bit. Um, yeah. Now I can start pushing it more, uh, doing it more efficiently, putting it more on horizon because Apple Apps is drifting away from me. I like to be on or behind Apple Apps, as if I don't want to be falling back to Earth because that's how you lose spaceships. I lost a lot of these, mainly on land. It looked awesome. I should have got some videos of that. And don't worry, at some point I'll probably crash it or deorbit it or blow it up with the Vanguard, one of Macy Dean's ships, and it'll be awesome. But anyway, for now, let's just stick to what we're doing and it did take a little while you can see the screen count is 7 minutes 30 already because it, it is slow with this I mean really slow to get out to Jewel it was something like an 8 minute burn and throttling up kind of pushing my perigee out and yeah you see stable orbit 
and that's uh, circular-ish. Anyway, that is me. Uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and there will be this series coming up, which should be pretty epic. And, yeah, so, subscribe for that, and I just cracked my knuckles there. Anyway, um, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.